everyone and welcome to today's tutorial so today i want to show you how to encase your boning when fixing on your fabric and i want to show you another way of applying your your eyelet at the back of your fabric now with another fabric now you want to use a matching color or you want to use another color to highlight where you put your garment and you want it to be on the fabric that is what this video is about so right now this is a sample of the back piece that i have here so i have added my interface to both the fabric and the lining so the first thing you are going to do is you are going to determine the the measurement how wide you want this place to be because the way we are going to attach the boning we are going to do it in such a way that it's going to give this there's going to be a style there so i decided to separate this back here by two inches consider your allowance your sewing in allowance and on the same on, on the side to the same thing so i am going to rule down where i am going to add my bone so this is where I'm going to add the boning at the back here and here. This is where I'm going to add the boning. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to encase your boning because this one is not going to be inside the fabric. It's going to be outside. It's the way of designing. So on this um, fabric here, I cut out the wideness of this. The wideness of this fabric here is two and a half inches. And then the length is the length of my fabric plus one inch so what you're going to do is the first thing you're going to do is this is my bone I am going to hold it down and make sure that when you are cutting your boning it will not get to your seam allowance up here because I'm still going to turn it in or the lower part so this is what I'm going to do on the right side of your fabric place your boning on the right side of your fabric this way and then I'm going to sew down one of the edges. This is the red link boning, so you can you can easily sew it down. So I'm going to sew down one side of the red link boning. can see I have sewn down this part so on the right side so the next thing I'm going to do is watch what I'm going to do I'm going to turn it this way and this way you can see what I'm doing and then I'll turn it this way fold it in here let me do it again for you to see after sewing after sewing it down you are going to turn it this is the right side so i'm going to turn it this way and then i'm going to tuck in this side you can even use two inches of fabric i'm going to turn it in this way so you can see i've already enclosed it so i'm going to do it properly now and i'm going to put it on the fabric make sure you close it properly you don't want any side to be poking out and I'm going to put it where I have my line this is a way of designing your fabric and also adding boning to the external sorry my my lining should not be there so I'm going to sew it down on both sides so I'm done with that side I'm going to sew it down on the other side too so you can see I have added bone to my to my fabric and a way of adding 
style to it so I'm going to do the same thing here again this is the right side of the fabric I'm going to sew it down on one end, edge this way then after sewing I'm going to turn it this way you can see then when I get to this side I will fold in this way so that I can properly enclose my my bone and then I'll put it this way now this method I am using you can also use it to add a basque effect to your to your blouse so I am going to make another video where I'm going to show you how to use this encasing to make a basque effect on your blouse so right now I am done with both sides I'm going to cut out the excess I'm going to cut out the excess here and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my lining to close it this one is still poking out so i'm going to cut it because i don't want it to get to my seam line here i don't want it to get to my seam line so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use my lining here to cover it up So I have added my lining here so the next thing for me to do is on the side where I want to add my grommet this is it I'm going to sew this fabric here because that is what I am going to use sew it all the way to the top now I am sewing here this is the right side here because this is the wrong side because I'm going to turn it in this way so the right side has to show by the time I iron this one it's going to go down so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the boning just look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the boning very close to where I have my joining. And I'm going to sew it down. This is just another way. It's just another way. It's another style of using your grommet. This time, you want to use a fabric. A different fabric to just alight where you want to have your grommet. So, so this is it so the next one I'm going to add here I'm going to measure I'm going to measure it so here I'm going to measure zero point here I'm going to measure 0 0.75 here so this is where my 0 0.75 is and that is where I'm going to start the second one from. I'm going to place it this way. That's where the last leg is going to be, where I have the 0 0.75, having small space in between the lines. So now I'm going to sew it down again, this way.
okay so now i'm done sewing the second part this is what i'm going to do i am going to fold it in like this i hope you can see that i'm going to fold it in this way but before i do that i have to reduce have to fold this in this way and then fold in this way so that I can have a neat bottom here and then when I do that I will sew on the sec on the first boning by the side here I'm going to sew it down And then on the top part here, I'm also going to tuck it in or cut out a bit too much and then tuck it in and sew it down. So I'm done with the first one. So here I'm going to tuck in the second one. But this fabric is too much, I want to reduce it. So I'm going to reduce it a bit here. Okay, so now it will be easier for me to just turn in and finish it up. So I'm going to sew on the second this time around, I'm going to sew on the second bone in here, this way, the second leg of the bone. I'm trying to push everything in so that it will be neatly placed. Okay. So let me sew it. So now I'm done with the, you can see how it looks and I have pressed it. That is why it is thin like this. Once you iron your boning, it will lay flat and see it has a very good structure. So when you put this at the back side, it's going to give a nice structure. So I went ahead to separate it one, one inch interval here. Like the last video, I showed you how to use the the machine, the gourmet. I told that one we we pressed on the bone itself and it was hard. But I told you that it's not compulsory for you to press on the bone. You can also press on the fabric. Like this one now, remember we have space at the middle here. So this one will not be as difficult as the last video where we pressed on the where we pressed on the bone this is the fabric so this is easy it's easier like i told you it's not compulsory can you see this is easier i told you it's not compulsory for you to press on the bone you can also do the one that you can press on the fabric you see that this one is is easy not like the one you are pressing on the bone there are different styles for all these things so just choose the one that you prefer that is why i'm making this video so that you can see that there are different ways of fixing your garment so you can see now this is i'm going to put this here and on your on your plier eyelet plier here i'm going to stick this there is a space here i'm going to stick this to it and then i'll bring it under the one that i have here I'm going to bring it under the one I have here and once I have it in place I'll just press it you see it's very easy once you press it it stays for you it's very easy to fix so the next one I'm going to put it here this way and then on the bottom side too I'm going to fix this here it's very easy to fix and then I'll bring it under this one and press it down so you see 
once you do that it's going to lay for you flat so i'm going to go ahead and finish up the other part i'm going to finish up the other part and then i'm going to show you how it looks like like i've done this side i've done the other side and this is the rope we are going to use for it so when i'm done i'll show you so this here is another way of adding style and casing your bone to add style to your dress and this is another way of adding your gourmet with the fabric design the last one i did was the same thing with the fabric but this brings more color to your dress so thank you so much for watching if you like this content and you want me to bring you more of this content make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you so much have a blessed day